One of my earliest childhood memories is of devouring thin, juicy, crispy pizza around the kitchen table with all of my family, which I later found out was from the silver dollar. It's nearly three decades later and I'm still savouring their wonderful pizzas. So what is it that keeps bringing me back to this lovely little pizzeria in Rainer's Lane? When the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie, that's amore. This unique American pizza restaurant was opened in 1959 by a female major in the U.S. Army, Major Patterson. In 1970, it was then taken over by Cypriot, Mr. Nick, a chef in some of the best West End hotels. I came in England and I went to the Piccadilly Hotel and I worked there for two years. I went in the um, Berkeley Hotel for another three years and then I moved to um, uh, Russell, Hotel Russell for eight years. And then I always wanted to do my own uh, business. Nearly 40 years later, Mr. Nick is still involved in the business, but has handed the day-to-day -day running over to his son-in-law, Tony. Okay, Tony, we're going to run through making a pizza, and I'm hoping yep. to find out the secret behind the silver dollar pizza. Yep. Where does it lie? In the thinness of the base, and our secret recipe that allows us to make the pizzas so thin. We use a combination of cheeses. It's the fusion of all the, uh, the mixture of cheeses, our secret base, and our secret sauce that makes our pizza special. I know you have got your special recipe, yeah. but the loyalty of your customers is amazing. Yeah, I think it's because, again, there's very few businesses now which are family run, and I am now serving the grandchildren of my father-in-law's customers. This is the other thing about yeah. the silver dollar is you actually know people yeah. by their pizza toppings, don't you? Absolutely. You personalise yeah. things. Yeah. Has that always been the case? It isn't. Because we know our customers so well, I can actually say, right, I know that one was a little bit well done because he sent it back before saying, can I have a little bit more well done? So we make it to, we almost tailor it to our customers' needs. And you know the customers not by name but by their pizzas, is that Absolutely. the case? Absolutely. I've got no idea of name. When we're discussing with anyone, we say, ah, oh, it was like when we were saying about you. I didn't know your name, I couldn't remember, but as soon as I was told double pineapple, double garlic, I knew who you were. <laughs> <laughs> and I remembered what your mum and dad had as well. Again, by their pizza. That's, That's brilliant. It. Absolutely. It's because of this personalisation and secret recipe pizzas that customers just can't keep away. Our customers are all referrals and recommendation. Our customers move away to Manchester, Birmingham, Scotland, and they still, at least once a year, maybe twice a year, whenever they're in the area, they make a point of coming to eat the pizza. It's great, and we must have made an impression on them. The Silver Dollar has also had their fair share of famous customers devouring their delights. On the beginning, we had the Telly Savalas, the Sammy David Jr., Norman Winston, Jack Panel. And you had Jack Nicholson as well, didn't Jack you? Nicholson, Jack Nicholson actually was in the last, uh, I think about eight, nine years ago. And uh, I've got really happy memories. OK, Tony, I'm ready for this. So if you fancy a taste of, in my opinion, the best pizza in the whole wide world, get yourself along to the Silver Dollar ASAP. Gorgeous. There we go. Let's tuck in. And let's turn your this double pineapple, half. double garlic. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So here we go. This normally would be about five minutes of your work, but about half an hour of mine. Here we go. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. Really good. 